Welcome back. Using motivation affirmations is a great way to keep yourself energized. Artist Nicole Ray is here to show us how journaling can help us follow our goals, intentions, mm -hmm. and vision for the new year. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm very excited you're here. I know <laughs> yes. you're one of Christy's favorite guests, mm -hmm. and I feel like maybe this was, you know, meant to be for Melanie and I to, yeah. to, to get a little, you know, extra inspiration yeah. from you. And today, what are we going to talk about? We are going to be exploring one of my affirmations that I carry in in my own creative healing arts practice, which is the art of daily practice. And it's a creative healing arts practice. I lead workshops, I have creative tools, I work with people one-on-one -on -one to help one bring inspiration and healing and guidance into their life, help one create space in your mind and your body um, to help cultivate your vision and your intentions. So I've been coming on the show and sharing my practices. And today, as I was getting ready for this month, um, when I asked if I could keep coming on the show, I was like, what has been helping me in the last month? You know, we are at that new year and we are at the beginning. And beginnings, what I say is bring the feels, the feels of, hey, it's a fresh start, a clean slate, mm -hmm. but then you might be challenged to start something new like a health and wellness routine or you maybe were kind of like me where I actually feel the pressure of like, I've got to have it all together. I need to have accomplished everything by January 1st. Mm -hmm. And we often kind of lose sight of reflecting out and closing out of one year and beginning another year. And so as I was reflecting, I looked at a practice that I started doing about 35, 40 days ago that has really helped me. And I feel it's necessary to help one right now get closer to their intentions, their vision, their goals. So it's already February and all of us are wondering where January oh, went. Exactly. That happen? And then oh depending on where you're at, you might hear that voice in your head that says, I had this idea or this vision or this intention for the new year, but I'm not eating healthy or I'm not moving my body mm -hmm. or and then all of a sudden you feel like you fell off the horse and you lost the wagon and all those other things and then you feel unmotivated and you it's it's more so because we have day-to-day -day tasks that we're doing that we have to carry on but then at the same time how can we get close to our intentions and spark our motivation so one of the practices that I had looked at um, and that I had been looking at was the practice affirmation prompt I am worthy to Okay. Okay. So I know you're like, what does this mean? <laughs> okay, that happens to everyone. Okay. So where did this come from? Mm -hmm. um, right before January 1st, I sat down to write my vision for 2018 with a dear friend of mine. Okay. That was something I wanted to do. And I wanted to set some intentions, things I wanted to accomplish, things I wanted to do, feelings I wanted to feel. When I sat down with my friend who was visiting from Colorado, nothing came to my mind. Oh. I felt mm -hmm. exhausted from 2017. Um, all of a sudden I felt a pressure of a new year and like mm -hmm. wanting to make this happen. And so I looked at one of the other practices that we looked at on the show about three, four months ago called creating space journaling or forgiveness journaling. Okay, so I had to say the words, I forgive to give love away in. I forgive and release feeling blocked. I forgive and release being exhausted from 2017. I forgive the year. I forgive the, the feels of the beginning of a new year. Mm -hmm. And then I just sat and I listened. Okay, so now I have, my practices started to help me, okay? And all of a sudden, all I heard was that it's not a block, it's a belief. It's a belief that needed to be strengthened. So I'm a visual person, so I thought of like a little muscle in your body, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I was like, okay, what is this belief? And all I heard was, you are worthy. Your worthiness gives you permission to try, to practice, to believe, to be abundant, to desire, to have your ideas. And I just sat there and everything shifted for me. Mm -hmm. I just was like, wow. So then my friend and I sat down and wrote 108 affirmations wow. around this prompt. Okay, what this prompt does is give you permission. So when we know that we are worthy deep within our heart, it gives us permission to see the things that we can't see in front of us, capital S-E-E, -E, that's our vision journaling practice, okay? So when you're setting out for a beginning of a new year, some of you might be like, yeah, I wanna do all these things, and then some of you are like, I don't know how that's gonna happen. So I started to give myself permission through this practice. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to just begin, okay? Usually it takes 10 minutes and all I have is a total of 10 minutes right now. So now we have like four minutes left. We're going to practice using this prompt. So if you've okay. wanted to journal this year, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, cool. So okay. if 
Viewers at home, grab a pen and piece of paper. You too have the yes, prompt written. You'll write the prompt, I am worthy to. Capitalize the words I am to practice I am affirmations because whatever we put behind those words become our beliefs and then our beliefs create our actions and then that's what our life looks like, okay? okay. And so what you have to ask yourself is what do you need to give yourself permission right now to do? I'll give you some examples. I am worthy to expand my creative practice. I'm worthy to be in a healthy relationship. I'm worthy to be strong. I'm worthy to believe in myself and cultivate my desires. I'm worthy to take time for me and rest. I'm worthy to eat healthy. I'm worthy to change. What am I saying? I am giving myself permission to expand my practice. I'm giving myself permission to feel strong. I've been going to the gym for about a year and working out, and it's like I feel strong there, but the minute I leave, I don't feel strong. And I realized that I really needed to check my beliefs because that's like not going to work very well. Here I'm going and doing the work, but I'm not really believing it. A lot of times it's the opposite for people. You don't believe in it, so you're actually not doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is going to help you give yourself permission. So I am worthy to go see my friend Jana in Hawaii. I am worthy to uh, be abundant and receive more finances in my life. I'm worthy. If you're looking, if you're wanting to, if you desire to have a relationship in your life and you look back at your past and it doesn't feel so well, you're worthy. Give yourself permission to be like, you know what, I can't see it right now, but I'm worthy to have a healthy, happy relationship. I am worthy mm -hmm. to change. Okay. This is still going to be overwhelming to some people. Yes. I like that you gave us some examples, mm -hmm. but when you said that you have 108, I thought, oh, I can't yeah. even think of eight. I can't think of one. Okay. Yeah. So what happens when you work with me or you take a workshop with me is the first 10 minutes, that's normal. Okay. Once your creative spirit, that's your confidence, your peace, your devotion, she takes about... 10 minutes or so to settle and it's like a yoga practice. You use your breath okay. and you start to ease into okay. it. It's a My little. students don't stop writing. Okay. I'm telling you, like I have, I mean, people who wow. are like, I can't do this. Yeah. I've had an eight year old do this. I've had people in their sixties do this. It's normal to feel what you're feeling right now, mm -hmm. but to know that the longer you stay in practice, your creative spirit, your motivation, your energy, your confidence, that kicks in. And that's what's so amazing, and that's why I'm passionate about my own practices, and that's why I have to guide and share other people. It's all right to be scared then, is what you're oh, saying. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's where we would do this, and I've taught okay. Christy this. I forgive and release not believing I can reach 108 affirmations. I forgive and release being scared. Mm -hmm. We are running out of time oh, already. I know. We can practice all, all day. day. So, but if people are, are watching right now and they, they mm -hmm. want to start this, I am worthy, yes. how can they get more information? How can they find yes. you, talk to you? Artofdailypractice.com. I have a calendar of different workshops at the Make Room at, at, Un at Unglued downtown. You can also work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can bring your tribe to my home studio in Moorhead, or I can come to your workplace. So this is just mm -hmm. one of the practices that I do, but I have a creative journaling course. I have affirmation beads where we write 108 I am affirmations and go into practice. Practice. I have just creative things that you can connect with your with your tribe. So. Thank you okay. so much yeah, for thank coming. You. Thank you very much. And we'll have a lot more here on North Dakota Today right after the break.